Hello, you two handsome gents. What's up, Chris? Chris, nice see you again, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? man? Guys, guys, this is so it's so much fun talking to you again. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Let's start off with a two part question. Top Gun Maverick is available on digital on August 23rd to celebrate. Are you guys throwing a big watch party? And how do I get invited? Well, where are you at? LA, New York? I'm in Nashville. Nashville. Oh, well, I will make a special trip. Well, right now my whole apartment's getting set up, so we'll see if I get it done by the 23rd. But I'm trying to put up this flat screen here, get my surround sound going, and then just get that popcorn ready. Oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, that would be good. I mean, because there's like 110 minutes of behind the scenes footage that I, I mean, yeah, we lived it, but it was so long ago. I don't even remember some of it. So I would love to like sit down with people. Good idea, Chris. To watch it. Yeah, let's do it. Yo, Paramount. I know you guys are on here. Do you guys want to set that up? (laughs) Is this is this going to include some of the vomit cut? I heard about the like the cut that's like going to like like really make people sick. Well, see, so this is what happens. You have to sign something, uh, you know, agreeing (laughs) that you want this image to be released. So I didn't have to sign anything because I didn't vomit. You have to ask other people who vomited. If they signed a release, well, no, 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 I don't want to see the footage of people vomiting. I just want to know if this is the really intense version of the movie. Some of those, some of those scenes in there that can actually make you feel a little. Well, I, th- I think there's going to be clips of us processing what is about to happen and come out, but I don't think there's actually the. <laughs> I don't think there's the, the image of it. Um, it. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of training footage, a lot of the behind the scenes of like what got us to prepare. Um, a lot of the filmmakers talking about honestly and that's what i'm, I'm most excited about um because I, I experienced what we did so it's cool to see it from that angle but then just all the filmmakers um from joe tom claudio chris everyone talking about what makes this so special i think is going to be gold nuggets that like people from all over the world that love filmmaking are going to run to check out because like how do you describe the universe other than by the people that invented the universe. Right. right. So it just, it feels um, that's a, a weird metaphor, but like, you know, like, no, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and so I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Danny, I, I got to ask you, I asked mm-hmm. Jay uh, this morning when you guys are all going to get matching tattoos uh, since you're in the biggest movie of the year. Yes. And he told me that you already had some ink done and you were going to show it to me. That's, a, that's not what he said. It was though. He said it was Tom's face and uh, from Jerry. <laughs> oh, that- so uh, that's the one I got in my. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So, guys, there's a few characters in the movie. Hangman comes to mind when we hear the origin of their call names. But do you know how? Do you know how you guys got the origin for your call names? Or if not, did you ever just come up with any elaborate backstories? Yeah, uh, my 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 origin or origin origin is uh, I, I Coyote was the one of the pack. He always had to prove himself and. Uh, Coyote is one of the smallest, you know, dogs out of the dog pack, like the wolf. And Tarzan like is mad small. So, and I would say as far as I had to get small. So, 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 fanboy, you can tell about your uh, cheerleading uh, story second. <laughs> uh, um, he, yeah, he, he, he had to scrap for everything. And, and that's how he got the name Coyote. Nice. Fan girl. I'm a fan boy. Yeah, he had to he had to scrap for uh him staying awake as well. So um, you know, he, he had every everything was up against him, you know, his sleep deprivedness. Uh he was just tired up there. No, mm. fan boy, uh talking to Joe about it, there was there was a nod to to Star Trek to the truckies out there with the font. And um I think personalized it even more for me because um I think the, the funniest part was one of the first experiences that Glenn invited me on was uh, a Jonas Brothers concert because he's friends with the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> and then the, the idea of like being a boy band fanatic just became so funny, but also like, in some ways, Glenn is. <laughs> by you're, taking I mean, me out there. You're talking to a guy who went to a New Kids on the Backstreet Boys concert. So, <laughs> I mean, both of them together. It was amazing. It was amazing. Oh, but, but see, there's something about that magic that I was like, oh, I can see why people, oh my God. Um, Let's forget that. Um, wow. But uh, there's a furniture delivery. As I was saying, I'm setting my apartment. I got you. You're setting everything party. up. No, no worries. But um, but so I think him him like taking me to that concert only solidified fanboy in like oh it'll be fun if like the like we're in the lockers and for whatever reason yeah my my bag spills open and it's just like 
BTS, uh, <laughs> Jonas Brothers, ba- like whatever, whatever CD came out that then they started. Hard Jonas. Yeah. 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 Uh, not, I, yeah, yeah. Guys, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I, first off, I know you can't talk about Captain America New World Order at all, but I just want you to know I'm going to be real disappointed if Joaquin doesn't show up and you don't bring Tarzan with you. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to be I'm going to be upset. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, upset that you don't have a Jerry Maguire tattoo, but. <laughs> well, I wasn't, I wasn't in that movie, so I'll, I'll, you'll start seeing. And I'll, to be fair, but I also wasn't in The Lion King and I have Simba. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's awesome. I love that so much. That's amazing. Guys, but, thank uh, you for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you I'm so it. sorry. This, this furniture, I, I'm setting up to be able to watch this on Blu-ray so uh, and on streaming. So Don't you worry. We're going to cut that right yeah, out. Nobody will ever know it's us. Hey, Jay, what's going on, man? What's going on, Chris? How you doing? It's good to talk to you again. So we spoke three months ago at the Top Gun Maverick premiere, and since then, Maverick's gone on to become the biggest movie of 2022. How has your life changed these last few months being in the most popular movie of the year? Uh, I tell you, there hasn't been a day where I haven't talked about Top Gun. Uh, (laughs) uh, You know, I I, kind of live under a rock, so I'll say some things are the same. Some things are different. Um, I got married in in all of this, so that was pretty wild. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, But I will say, you know, I've been fortunate enough to travel a little bit and pop into a few foreign countries and and over the around the states a little bit. And everywhere I've gone, uh, people are talking about Top Gun, man. Like it's it has been absolutely insane to see how much of a global phenomenon this like this movie has been. Yeah. Side note: Have did Kenny Loggins sing at your wedding? <laughs> uh, funny, funny story. And my agent is going to kill me for this. Kenny Loggins was at the premiere in San Diego, sitting right next to my agent, and my agent really didn't realize that it was Kenny Loggins. And then Tom gets up on stage and is like, "I think Kenny." Kenny Loggins is in the audience and Kenny stands up and like does a wave. And my agent literally just like <laughs> slouches in his seat because he doesn't want to be like on camera next to Kenny Loggins. It's the most amazing thing. My agent's going to kill me for that. Sorry. Oh, that's I was actually there. I was like, I was way on the far end, but I saw that moment go down. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, so to celebrate being in the biggest movie of the year, have you and the rest of the cast got matching tattoos yet? Uh, we have not got matching tattoos yet. Danny Ramirez was the first one to get one, though, and he's trying to get us to get his tattoo, but we'll see what happens. What is it? I, I, I need to know what it is. I, I, he's got a, I don't want to do I, he's I mean, I'm gonna, a, Okay, I'm going to talk to him later. I'll ask him. Uh, I'll, I, so you don't have to be the one. I'll probably show you. Just say I heard, just say I heard you got some new, uh, some new, new ink. ink. Yeah. You. Yeah, I don't know what it's got. I mean, I hope it's, a, I hope it's Tom Cruise's face. That's what I want it to be. At the very least, do you guys have like a group text now that you keep in touch with and you call each other your call names? Uh, well, it is Tom's face, actually, his tattoo. <laughs> and it's when uh, it's when Jerry Maguire is, is screaming, show me the money. Please. If, so it's like, <laughs> it's like mid yell. <laughs> if that's not true, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a text chain. Uh, we have a couple text chains and it, they are lighting up nonstop. Christopher McQuarrie texts us once a week, uh, just kind of like shotting out like where we are, where the film is and how, how it's performing. Um, uh, and that has all of us, uh, Miles and Ham and Connolly and, you know, all the rest of the aviators, Glenn, Monica, Lewis, um, Danny, Tarzan, uh, Tom. Uh, I think Joe Kaczynski is on that one also. So that's our big, big text chain. And then all the aviators, we have one together. Uh, that's a lot of fun. A lot of memes going back and forth on that one. I, I'm sure. Uh, uh, speaking of which, you're talking about all the cast. Hypothetically speaking, let's say Payback is Maverick. Who on the cast is your Iceman? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it's probably, it's got to be either Hangman or Coyote. I would go Hangman or Coyote, probably. I like that. I like that. So we're doing this uh, this interview for the release of Top Gun Maverick on Blu-ray. How, let's let's say uh, how many how many copies would you estimate that you're gonna you're gonna purchase yourself and give away for <laughs> for, for Christmas presents? Because I would everybody I meet on the street would be getting a copy of Top Gun Maverick. And be like, hey, what's up? I'm Payback. I mean, everyone, everyone will be getting one. Uh, trust me, the gift of uh, payback and the gift of Top Gun is going to be very rapid uh, this holiday season. Um, I, I, I don't know how many I'll purchase. I didn't even think about that, man. I, I, uh, but I will. I definitely will. Uh, the whole box. Everybody yeah. I know would be getting one. 
Yeah. Well, the problem is everyone asks me for like a signed poster from the cast. And I'm like, I got I got one. Like, I, I want my poster. I can't right. give you my poster. But I will get everyone. Uh, I will get some folks to sign some DVDs and some Blu-rays for sure. That actually be fun. That's oh, a great nice thing. To, Thank you, nice man. We've become such good friends now. This is great. I can't wait. Uh, so if we're getting a Top Gun trilogy, hi, you know, just 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 throwing that out there. Hypothetical. Putting it out in the universe. Uh, where do you think Payback's going to end up in a sequel? Oh, man. Uh, I feel like Payback is uh, going to be, like, teaching uh, somewhere in, like, I think he's going to be teaching flight school, maybe. Like, he's going to be teaching, like, some young bucks how to fly. Uh, and then he's going to kind of be the maverick of that, mm-hmm. uh, that group. And then I think he's going to get called back into, like, the group, right? This, this, these aviators that we got to meet in, in Top Gun Maverick. And I think he's going to be like, guys, I've seen some stuff, you know? I hope so. I hope that's where it goes. I hope he's you're right. Fun. Yeah. I don't know. I, I have no idea where he'll end up, um, but it'll be fun to, it will be really fun to, to, to kind of think about that. Think about where all that, that whole group ends up. Well, now with the success of Maverick, it's got everybody talking about what other Tom Cruise films they want to see a sequel to. So I'll ask you, you know, is there any other particular Tom Cruise movies that you'd want a sequel to specifically, maybe something from the 80s? I mean, I would love to see. I mean, I'd love to see uh, where 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 his Rain Man character end up, like where him and Dustin Hoffman. I would love to see that. Um, uh, That was just such a beautiful story and beautiful, like relationship like i'd love to see where that ended up i'd love to see a less grossman movie uh i feel like that would be absolutely amazing yeah um i wonder if jerry Maguire still got it like can, can he close the deal uh you know <laughs> um is he you know where is he at on this side uh of his career like i would love i would love to see yeah there's a couple movies i think i would yeah yeah I always think about that and the great like when 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 you've played characters for like 30 years plus like do you ever wonder like what does what they're up to do you ever just stop some random day and be like oh, I wonder what that guy's up to now <laughs> I'm gonna ask Tom that because that actually be really interesting. I'm gonna text him that and ask him that like do you ever do you think like where's your risky business character right now yeah where's it, that guy at he probably doesn't at all. He probably doesn't. He's like, they're not, they're not real. Anyway, Jay, I don't want to take up any more of your time. You were awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Have a good one, man. It's good seeing you, you buddy. I can't wait for that DVD. Yeah. hundred, hundred minutes of uh, bonus footage. Hell yeah. I can't wait.